Welcome to our continuing playthrough of Colonial Twilight, part two. Now, last time we get the ball rolling after our reboot, after I uh, restarted the game. Uh, and our first card, uh, I went in and exposed all these underground gorillas. And, oh, that doesn't belong there. And basically the uh, FLN rallied everywhere. Uh, but let's get right back into it with our next card which will be development. Now, I am the first eligible, and here's where you can screw yourself up. In general, especially when you're the first player, your op and special activity is going to be your most powerful move. So even though you're very tempted by a lot of the bling uh, story card here, you generally want to go with the attitude that op and special activities are your bread and butter and you need to come up with some good reasons why not to do it rather than than the other way around so when i'm doing this i'm always like okay first thing i want to do is can i get my score up can i get commitment or support up which will increase my score towards victory and that's the first thing i consider the second is if i can't do that with my uh, op and special activities can i knock the opponent's score down and if the answer is no to that, then I start looking at options to set myself up for the next turn. Maybe bring in this um, event or not. But that's generally how I do it. And it also tends to be how the bot operates. Um, so, no, this uh, allows me to put two bases anywhere in Algeria from out of play. From available or out of play, which seems like pretty hot stuff. But, and you have to think. Uh, as it's almost like a chess board. And since I'm first eligible, it's like I'm playing the white pieces. And usually I have an advantage when you're when you're going first. And if you dither, you you make a gratuitous move in chess, you basically hand the initiative over to the other other player. Now I got these guys on the run or exposed, and I've got plenty of guys to um, um, take them out. So I, and take out a base, and if I take out a base, my score goes up, and his score goes down. So th there is absolutely, there's not a good reason to take the event here. So, we are going to assault here, which will cost us two. And one, two, three, four is going to be able to, and this is a plane, so I can, it's one per one, which is awesome. One, two, three, and four. We go in. Guns blazing. Take out these exposed gorillas and their exposed base. Which bumps up our support, our, our commitment, and bumps up commitment plus support. And knocks his opposition bases down one. Okay, we paid the two resources. Now, do I want to do a special activity? I think I do, since I took this over quite well. I think I'm going to keep my troops over there for the time being, just in case he gets cute with it. I'm not sure how the bot would work, but it, I think he might try to make a march there. So I'm going to use the troop lift. The, the troop lift, that is, and I'm going to drop mm, I think I'll just drop two well, let me think about this I'm going to drop two here and set myself up for my next uh, run okay, my move up with special activities that leaves him to look at the flow chart so with the flowchart, this is actually one of those situations where he will take the event. He was originally, the flowchart was directing him to do terror, to remove support, but there's nowhere, there's nowhere he can do that. And so it, and it pointed us here. This one is a mark for taking the event. He's eligible to do it, and so he will do it. And that's just going to give him three FLN resources. One, two, three. And that is it for him. So, he executes the event. He'll become first eligible. I'll become second eligible, and we are on to the next card, which is Intimidation. All right. All right, 
once again, the FLN is in the same situation it was before, where well, it's not going to rally because his bases are covered. And he can't do terror because he can't remove any support anywhere. So he's going to take this event here, which is basically going to give him resources equal to where the France is tracking. Since it's all the way on the, <laughs> at the back here, it's plus what, five or six. It's like plus six. Six plus 13 would be 19. So he's got plenty of resources, but he's not getting a whole lot of action done. All right, so he does execute the event. That means I can do up and special or special active. And this looks like a good opportunity to do train operation. And we're going to do it here. And we're going to do it with the French track. And it's going to cost us four resources. One, two, three, four. And first of all, we're going to put these two back in. Algerian police into here. Uh, we're going to move this up. And we're going to pacify for another two resources. Getting a little spendy here, but that's okay. Uh, which is going to put this back to neutral. Okay, and that's going to reduce his opposition by two because of the population. One, two. One, two, he's down to 16. And then for our special activity, we are gonna deploy. And deploy, we get to select three spaces and move French pieces among the selected uh, places from Algeria or the available box. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna go here. And I think we're gonna go here, and I'll show you why. First, we're gonna plunk a base down right here. Deploy a base. That's one piece, that's six pieces total. So we'll count them off. One, uh, two, three. And over here, four, five, six. We'll actually go right over here, back into Constantine. And that is gonna be our deployment. Uh, he will be eligible first again. Second eligible for me. And it's on to the next card. Purge. Okay. And once again, because uh, his bases are covered and there's nowhere that he can uh, perform terror uh, and make an effect on the score, which is what the bot will do, he is going to take Purge. One to three enemy pieces done by 1d6. Okay, let's get that out of the way right now. Round it up. One, ha <laughs> ha. Uh, and one d six minus resources to me. One, boy, he's not rolling so hot, is he? <laughs> okay, which piece am I gonna remove? It's gotta be French. It's gotta be troops first. And let's see, where would be effective move? Uh, the most effective move I can see is removing one of these to available. And which would yield up control of this region to me, to the FLN, that is. Okay, so that is his move. Execute event. That lets me into, again, up and special activity. And quite frankly, we are just going to keep continue to build up this area here. Of course, we got to defend it at some point, so we're going to train there. We're going to train there. So we'll probably use the deploy method as well. Uh, I'm sorry, I thought my uh, camera was uh, unpaused. It wasn't. Uh, we built, uh, spent money to build up the support here, which moved our track up to uh, 25 and 19, respectively. And then we're going to just deploy, and we're just going to bring in... And I think I'm just going to put some forces right here from the available box. Okay, that is the turn. We did that, they are first eligible, and we are second eligible again, and we are ready for our next card, which is Propaganda. All right. So unlike four-player coin games, Propaganda could come up at any point, because any point. you know in regular coin games, you have one coin and you can look one card ahead. Well, not this case, well, I guess I wasn't supposed to see all that, but that's okay. Um, no, they come up anytime they can, and so we will 
Execute. We'll add government resources first at our commitment level, which is 18. 18 plus uh, 3 would be 21. We also, each sector with government control and one government base equal pop value of the sector. And that would be 9 for a total of 30. Uh, wait, got to punch in a little correction here. That was not supposed to be 9 resources for uh, support uh, because it doesn't count in the cities. It only counts uh, out in the country there with uh, bases. And there was only one at the time uh, right here. And so I got to subtract seven from this, uh, my number here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm just going to, oh, sorry. There we go. I didn't get that in very well. But uh, it's you'll see it wrong because I'm just editing this little, slicing this little bit in. But it's it's correct in the final analysis, and because the recall de Gaulle event is in play, we add our total support, which is let's see three, five, seven, nine. So we're gonna add nine to our total for thirty-nine. Then we're gonna subtract the number of resettled. Uh, sectors, which is a three by that marker. One, two, three, four. Whopping a 36. That's a pretty good resource. The FLN will add seven, the number of their bases on there, which is seven for a total of 26. Uh, research number from the box on the France track, which is plus four, will be 30. Uh, and you subtract border zone status number which is over here and that is three so it's gonna be minus three one two three still a lot of resources for the uh, FLM I'm gonna have, not gonna have any problems running operations next turn and I can pull troops out and put them in out of play for um, more commitment or I can take them from out of play there's none to do that though um, and we can also, all right, we have the recall goal, that doesn't, well, we don't have any casualties, it doesn't matter, so the only thing we're going to subtract from commitment is the France track, which is at minus two, so one, two, and of course, one, two, okay, not getting up to our, uh, where we need to be. Now we get to pacify, and there's only two space, I need police and troops and government control, and that would be where we're, we're uh, here. And I think that might be, or is that it? Here, police and troops. Yeah, two spaces. It will cost me four to pacify. One, two, three, four. But. So, support here. Here for a jump in support by four. We like that a lot. Um, hit support one, two, three, four, twenty seven. The FLN could agitate, but there's nowhere to really do it for any effect, and they've got all the opposition where they have pieces, and there's no point in doing it in a zero population spot. Uh, so nobody's going to redeploy. I'm not, and neither is the FLN, because they are already loaded up on their bases. Uh, the only thing left is for is the track resets. This goes up one, and this goes technically down one over here. And we are ready for the next turn, uh, the next campaign, actually, and we will move on. Uh, we actually got, let's see, how early was that? That was one, two, three. Three, four cards before we got the propaganda card. So there's 12 cards per campaign at least in, in addition to whatever was left in here. So that means there's eight cards left before we see a, another propaganda card. And if that's all the way at the end of the second campaign, it, it could be a good, what, 16 cards or something. Anyway, that will be it for now. And join us next time. And thanks for watching.